<laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. Good to see you all. And it is nice to be seen. <laughs> 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 Ooh, we're getting into the, the the feel of it as as well it's uh, another theme week and it's uh, halloween obviously it's got to be one to get involved with hey ting <laughs> yeah but i think we've already had some gremlins this evening haven't we <laughs> <laughs> just just a few as we spice things up but i can see on you you've got some halloweeny things in the background there and show us your earrings can you do a close-up I don't know if I've got a cat on my lap, but I've got Ooh. spider earrings. Oh, if I look. bring it to Oh, and Ting, give us a <laughs> shake of your head. <laughs> 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 Though I don't know how many people are feeling uh, about Halloween week. Uh, a theme, a uh, last theme. No, I think we've got musicals. No, movie, musical. See, look, we're all confused. Musicals coming soon. So perhaps one more. But. Yeah. How do you find, remember, I'm new to this. How do you find strictly with Halloween week anyway, in general, over the years? I don't well, know. For I me, it, just, it tends to be a fun week of madness. It's not too serious. You can't really get much dancing wise. That's for me personally. Ting? I think that um, this one wasn't as bad as perhaps it has been in the past um, mm. because they there wasn't actually many songs that were halloween type songs there's a very tenuous link and it was i mean it was more to do with the costumes and i think some of those got in the way more than the songs or props this week um but it it, it didn't seem as as whether the it's because we've had too many themes already <laughs> um it didn't seem as overproduced as perhaps some of the other themes we've had already this series okay yeah. well Let's go straight into it. As you know, this show is all about looking at the costumes. We've taken our unpicked format from Sewing Bee and put it into Strictly to look at what goes into it. Talking about the fabrics, perhaps how they move, the colours, how they echo and coordinate with their partner and all things like that. We take a few of the dances and look at them in more detail. And as we whittle down the dances, perhaps we'll get to the point where we look at them all. But we've still got what, oh, I don't know, is it 10 odd? dancers left yeah. a fair yeah, few something. <laughs> so we've got uh, a four to look at this week uh, but before we start we always look at who went last week just a quick comment on who was up for leaving we had Jaden, karen and the charleston and molly and carlos and the couple's choice what do we think about those two or those two couples in the dance off uh, for me, it was a shame to see Molly there because she is a good dancer, but that particular week I wasn't a fan of her dance. Um, and I don't think Jade and Karen's dance was great either. So um, dance-wise, fair enough for them both being in the bottom. And for the person who left, I also thought that was the right decision for, you know, between the two dancers that were there. Okay. Ting? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm still slightly frustrated that Tony is is still there. Um, I, I feel he should have potentially been in the bottom of of these two, um, possibly edging out Molly. But I think, you know, looking at Jade going home, um, there just wasn't enough energy in that dance for it to be a mm -hmm. Charleston. It was a bit too placed and a bit too slow. Um, and the Charleston should be quick and and funny and and so on. Um, but I mean, I think all couples suffered a bit last week because they were being shoehorned in to mm. these TV themes yeah. and, and so Absolutely. on. How yeah. do we think, uh, you two, about the whole idea of the couple's choice? Do you think that's probably the reason why they were in there because of of that of of what they end up doing for couple's choice? I'm never a big fan of couple's choice, to be honest. I, I've yet to come across one that I really, really loved because I think. They, they do have experts outside of the you know professional dancers come in to help them with the dance but things like street dance and things that takes a long time to get very slick at because it's all about the polish with that sort of stuff mm. so when it comes to that sort of thing i'm not generally a big fan because it doesn't look as good as the ballroom or the latin dances um so I'm generally not a big fan because it generally does end up street dancing it's very rare that it's something else every now and then you get something else but yeah, not a fan, really. Yeah, I mean, I think, I, I mean, I can understand why they perhaps put it in uh, because uh, normally the show dance in the final is normally a big thing. 
Um, and, and, and I suppose this is kind of like that. So everyone gets to do that kind of bit more freestyle, but it doesn't, it doesn't sit well with the audience because uh, you know a lot of the audience won't understand street dance also mm. they you, you're watching ballroom and latin every week and then suddenly mm. this dance is not any of that um unless mm. they choose to do something you know inspired by that most of the time they do do something more streetish um yeah. and i think even it wasn't necessarily this one i think it was the week before but even shirley sat there and said i've never heard that piece of music before i don't really understand mm. i can only really see what was going on in front of me and i think you you run the risk that with the audience as well and and i think you know molly and carlos suffered potentially last week because um the grain chill theme tune had to keep being put on repeat to make it last long enough for the dance and then they were doing a dance that you know then became very repetitive as well and I think the audience probably got bored with it. And, and I think that's often the case with the, the couple's choice. You know, the show dance at the end is when you've done 12, 15 weeks of dancing and you're a bit more skilled. Trying to do it when you're only five, six weeks in is, is ridiculous. Now, tell me about couple's choice. Are they supposed to be choosing um, a genre of dance that they are good at, that the celebrity is good at? Or, yeah. or are they just doing something that they, they, they know they can do? compared to all the other dancers. It's probably similar to, I when in my head, is probably similar to ballroom and stuff where they get a selection that they can pick from, whether it's street dance or um, something a bit more freestyle. Oh, um, I see. But I don't know. The only, I'm just thinking couple's choice in recent years, the only one that really ever stood out for me was Bill Bailey's and his was immaculate. Like that's, if, you, if you're looking for a good example of really What did good, you choose? What, what was the um, genre? It was, it was street dance, uh, oh, but it was blimey. it was done to like hip hop, and it was it was just per, it it was oh, just right. perfection. Okay, highly recommend checking think, it out. I think but that yeah. they can do. It's called Couples Choice, but I think there is a choice they can do street dance, or um, I think they can do disco, or I think there are two or three things they can choose. Oh, and then they can have a bit more choice over the music that they're doing, um, which is why it's called Couples Choice. Okay. Um, I don't think you could come on and say, oh, yeah, well, we've decided we're just going to do another Foxtrot, even though we did it last week. Ah, see, um, that's what I thought. Uh, no, uh, ah. uh, the show dance at the end in the final is usually made up of a bit of everything that you are good at, and, and that is what the show dance is for, ultimately. But the Couples Choice is is more focused on the more modern styles um okay. which again i think you know some of the older audience uh, have trouble connecting with because you know the music and the moves just not what you're, you're perhaps tuning in to see yeah okay well let's move on so we sadly had to say goodbye to Jaden and karen uh and here we are then for halloween special change of credits as well as always and then in walk tess and claudia now, what do we think of Tess's outfit? Good together or was it a bit odd? <laughs> She's got her welly boots on, isn't she? Yeah. yeah <laughs> didn't, the boots didn't fit right it? around the, the calves and I think that threw me off a bit. Yeah, they're like, they're almost knee highs, but not quite there. And they're kind of a bit wide on her. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, if they had been more the ones that you pull up and they're nice and fitted, you could see it a bit better, think- but... Yeah, that was what the problem was. They look, they looked great, but as I say, would they be great with a different outfit? Yeah. The together, did they seem odd just together? Yeah, you could see those with a nice pair of skinny jeans or something, looking really yeah. immaculate. But with the slash dress, it just didn't quite work. Her dress was lovely. Both were lovely. Absolutely, um, absolutely, that's right. It was maybe a stunner. If Claude, maybe Claude and Tess got the shoes the wrong way around because those shoes would have been class with that slash uh-huh. dress, and then maybe the boots would have worked better with Claudia's dress. So. Uh, but what about Claudia in that outfit? Yeah, no, Claudia I'm... looked good. And I love the the fact that she'd gone with the green shoes just as a pop of colour yeah. because, you know, she does tend to stay in blacks and whites and, you know, yeah. very. she doesn't tend to wear a lot of colour. No, absolutely. Um, but she did look fab. They both look fab. Absolutely. Uh, and that, that, the way that shape of that dress that she's wearing there claudia and that that pull up at the top on the waist and then it draping down to the side there beautiful mm-hmm. agree <laughs> um and then the judges now that was something wasn't it <laughs> it's amazing what a week could do to get into character hey oh and he was definitely if we're talking about um 
Craig. He was definitely in character last night, shall we just say. <laughs> <laughs> he was brilliant to watch, wouldn't you say, Ting? Yeah, uh, you know, I think the, the the trouble is their costumes and they're, they're great. Um, we wouldn't necessarily go out and buy those on a regular basis. They are Halloween outfits. But, you know, they as you would expect, they all fitted wonderfully. They looked great, yeah. all four of them. Um, you know, they just looked really well together. It'll be interesting to see what they've done uh, for the results show tonight because obviously there is time to change in between and whether they'll go back to being in their judges' normal attire or whether they'll mm-hmm. stay in this or another version of this. Mm-hmm. Um, it'll be interesting because, of course, yeah. they like to live under the illusion that it's a separate show, but, of course, it's filmed about half yeah. an hour later. So. <laughs> I tell you what, I wouldn't want to be taking those uh, crystal or stones off. Absolutely. Good point. Because that's, that's a lot. Gonna, <laughs> that's going to take some time, isn't it? But it was just yeah, wonderful well, well, seeing... Go on, Ting. That will come off relatively easily. You think? I've, I've, I've worn those. There. I've taken those, that sort of stuff off in the past myself. That's a lot. For like it is a lot. But it, but it, yeah. If it's been put on with that kind of rubber type glue, it will just peel off quite easily. And then they'll be able to take the rest off with makeup remover. I just, in, I also just enjoyed seeing how Anton was just getting into it and flicking his hair <laughs> as well. <laughs> how it just turned him into a... A bigger D, a big diva. Uh, but yeah. yes, wonderful. Uh, something I just want to talk about, which I I just thought, little things like this just blow me away. Uh, for the set, obviously the whole theme is Halloween, but the detail of the, uh, of the Halloween theme uh, was amazing because you've got this, the usual staircase. And as I was taking the screen grabs for this episode, I noticed that even gone to a different staircase look at that well i think yeah. it's the same staircase it's just got the the it, ivy yeah. overlaid it <laughs> indeed but that's that's a i just think that's an awful lot of work that, but that detail uh, i know they've put the yeah. cobwebs on and everything but actually to go to that detail of putting that sort of old-fashioned sort of look up i just think is those little things do really help yeah. to make the theme work even more or for us to get into it wouldn't you say oh yeah, yeah. absolutely so let's go into it then our first one that we'd like to talk about and focus on is kim and graziano it just looked great i thought but simple. I did. Her dress worked really well and her makeup just was lovely as well. But her dress, it they worked really well together because he very much did look frozen yeah. with his shiny and his fitted shirt and whatnot. Um, so there was a really nice contrast between them and her nice splits. That, Would you like absolutely. to talk about the splits? Yes. <laughs> but, the, but again, they're there because of the dance. Uh, you know, this dance, you're supposed to have the hip action, you're supposed to um, have the leg action, you're supposed to have those legs to push through when you're doing um, the rumba uh, steps and everything like that. So, you know, the dresses are designed, or they should be designed, to to show those legs off so you can see what's happening. Um, and also when she does those quick turns like we've got in that picture there, you know, to get that bit of movement in. Although I, I, I don't know if I actually just liked... It, it reminded a bit like a Vi leader mop because... They were all the way round, and when she came out, it came oh. out and then fell back down yeah. again. I normally it would be on a bit. Well, it was on a bit of an angle, and you can kind of see it there. Mm. It kind of goes from Grazio, it's a bit higher up, and then goes down uh, towards her other side. But normally, it's a bit more obviously asymmetrical for the rumba, um, and uh, yeah, it just gave me that kind of violin. Oh yeah, beg your pardon. This rumba, I said quick step. Beg your pardon. Yeah, I meant rumba. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it played into what Madonna wore in the video because she also had that drapey ness to the costume or to her outfit in the video, which then became the crows and they flew away. So I wonder if oh, it was I'm a nod to as well, that. maybe. <laughs> huh? I'm too, too young. young to that. <laughs> oh. What did you think of uh, the idea of? him with his shirt out and and reflecting that with her garment rather than being a bit more official and tucked in uh didn't really give it much thought you clearly thought, <laughs> thought there was something. 
<laughs> well, they, we we normally see when they're doing uh, partnerships, they tend. I well, I, from just my little knowledge of what looking at it, the gents seem to be always a bit more formal in their setup with the shirt in the this, trousers. No, well, regardless, this is the rubber. This is the rumba, though. In the rumba, because it's a Latin dance, you would expect to see a bit of chesticles um, out. Um, you'd expect uh, if you if you look at the other ones, you'd ex- you you often see that um, it is kind of like this two piece with the shirt untucked, right? Because okay. of the movement it, again, it's for the dance. It's very similar. Um, if you look at other rumbas, um, and I can't think who it was, who was, we've had a rumba the other week, and I think it was a male celebrity, and they were wearing something very similar, just in the colours, not frozen Yeah, and we, we talked about Hamza's, uh, Hamza's shirt a few weeks ago, and it was an untucked version as well, and he was doing a Latin dance, so. Oh, yes. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Yeah. See, learning, learning. Uh, considering I've never seen this before, I'm learning all these little things about the dances and the way you should wear your costumes for it. If uh, it's anything, I, you learn and then forget again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now I thought also for her costume, I, it just didn't seem perhaps as sparkly, icicly frozen as perhaps it could have been. I thought there might be more gems on that and more crystals. But I think Anya was right. I think that's probably taken more from the Madonna inspiration um, mm. rather than anything else. Okay. Yeah. I think if it wasn't Halloween week, you might argue yeah. that yes. Because um, actually this was one of the few where Frozen by Madonna is not a, a Halloween song. You know, I, I, I know it had a very gothic video. Um, now we are showing our age. Um, the video yeah. uh, when it was released. But... Um, you know, if this wasn't Halloween week, he probably wouldn't be whited out like he is. But those costumes probably would have been fairly similar um, if that had mm-hmm. been the case. Um, it was one of the few where it didn't really matter that it was Halloween. This was the only thing that really showed it up was him being whited out. Yeah. Okay. Well, and her fabulous crown, you know. It, well, and well, her eye makeup, but. This comes up in the Vicky Gill section, so it'll be interesting to see what this costume looked like on the Thursday. Uh, so we'll come back to that in a jiffy. Uh, next one to talk about, we have got Hamza and Yavita with their tango. Yeah, I liked the brocade look of his um, jacket. I don't Fabulous. know what you call it. You know, the, the full length. <laughs> tunic yeah because it was it was very uh-huh. very long i can't could be a tabard I, this is it i don't know but it was very very long i can understand because it clearly is a throwback to old kings and that kind of feel mm. you know that you'd see in some costume dramas but it looked like it but weighed this, a ton yeah but this was the very thing heavy. though is it being halloween um you know you wouldn't wear something like that for a tango the, the male you wouldn't wear something like that for the tango and and so therefore what are you compromising here because it's halloween are you saying well let's put him in this king-like costume because it fits with the theme but it's gonna bugger up the dance or do you say let's put him in perhaps a brocade waistcoat um and mm-hmm. uh you know make him a bit more easier to move around um and do a tango in because you you know he did feel like he was pulled in again because yeah. it, it hung quite it certainly looked as if it was heavy yeah. around hanging around his legs when you want to be able to get those kicks and flicks and that in with those tangos and get your leg out there and leading the way around the floor so beg yeah. my ignorance yeah. here then so for the tango what have we seen before from the gents it's been classic shirt trouser tuck in and blazer have we seen suit it has yeah. hasn't it you generally might... tend to have nice tailored trouser with it with those sort of dances you den with yeah. the gents you do have that tailored top to the trouser so that they can and a little bit of a wider um bottom where they can flick and swish I a see. bit right this is this is me kicking under her leg and doing the things <laughs> yeah. well don't confuse that with the argentine tango where that's really necessary um mm. you know this the, the tango in itself is a ballroom dance and and um, yeah, so you would expect that more ballroom look to it. You could see yeah. from this picture here, it's long. It's a lot of fabric there. And the nature of it, I think, was thick and heavy. So it did hang beautifully. And yes, he had those very long slits up there. So the legs could move more. But it 
he's just felt heavier than hers. Hers, however, what do you think of Juventus? I just thought it was stunning. Yeah, it was beautiful. This is, do you remember last week we were complaining about the outfits didn't necessarily complement each other? I think this one clearly did because you've got that mm. yellow goldy undertone to hers yeah. as well with the black overlay and it's it was lovely. Well, it was stunning. I've got some uh, fabric motion for us to look at because she spun round and you could see the gold and you could also see like, what do you call them? Pantaloon trousers? N- long knickers? Knickerbockers? Bloomers. <laughs> Bloomers. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> So here she comes. You could see the gold there beautifully, but there's the, look at those trousers with some sort of brocade pattern on, or was that black lace yeah. over the top? Don't quite know because you can't quite tell, but you can see the nice sort of oh. pantaloon. There, look. It Just... looks like it's the the brocade. It looks like it's the lace overlay that possibly is on his yes. jacket. Yeah. Yeah. You but wouldn't notice that anyway. You only noticed it on her spins. Look at those. And that's full length. But just, I just thought that's where perhaps... Well, I'm not sure. Go on. I'm not sure why that would be in there because I don't think it adds anything. Uh, yeah, it's a flash of something different. But that th- that in itself just adds more weight to her costume. It, yes. it, it then seems like they're weighing it down quite significantly. Well, Both of them. You would only see it when she spins. You can't even really see it there, can you, in the, in the standing no. position? No, not at all. But from especially a, because her dress is full length. But I love the fitted here and her nice balloony sleeves and a little bit of detail on her bodice. It was lovely. Yeah. And I think the two go well together, yet contrast well in a way, with that heavy mm-hmm. to the the floaty and the light. Yet with yeah. many layers too. Just to thought that it worked really well. And a good dance too? Yes, I think it was. Yeah, I think, it wasn't my favorite think, of the evening. It's not my favorite of his. I kind of no, yeah. and it did. It, I think the costume potentially held him back a little bit. I think it was a bit weighty, but it it wasn't a horrific dance. No, but he no, is no. in that dangerous place on the the leaderboard for tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh really? Oh, he's in so, that middle. <laughs> so not you not mean you bottom. haven't watched him religiously. <laughs> So our last one to look at before uh, going into the Vicky Gill stuff, we have got Molly and Carlos, which I thought was fabulous. Yes, I agree. Her dress was, yeah, it was, it was, it really made me think of Interview with a Vampire immediately. That's it. And I just, oh, I'm getting all the flashbacks with this. Clever Um, and original. I love that blousy top yeah. there but the way it was cut out just to have the top and the sleeves yeah it was all very, very layered careful. and i think we've got a lot of layering on a lot of the costumes this week across all yeah. of the couples which i don't know if it's always necessary but uh no but her no is it particularly long either so i don't think that it necessarily weird her down such? No, this was clever. No, that no. just the, the layers coming from the elbow just worked really well when she spun or when she held her arms up straight, and you had that hanging there like that shot. Just those little touches. Agreed. She had a lot of layers on the, the on the skirt, though, didn't she? Yeah, there was seems well, they, it was almost like, like a raggy kind of them. skirt. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we both spoke at the same time. Ting, go again. <laughs> I was going to say they were like bows, weren't they, attached by yeah. the looks of it? Yeah. Yeah, it was almost uh, like a rag effect where they're just yes, sort of absolutely. Tight. So, And then you've got moments of that pink coming through. You've got moments of the black and then the layered over the top, toning down that pink. Um, and yeah. then you've got them there. So it's, it's, a, it's a fine line, isn't it, uh, I, of looking sort of of that ripped effect, but not too raggy. Yeah, and it worked really well. It's interesting to see her dancing on stilettos as well. Can we take a moment for dancing on those shoes, for goodness sake? <laughs> yes, um, but it's the Argentine where... tango, so you, you again, I know, you need it's to have not make the... it any easier. <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't. But that's the look, isn't it? That's the, the mm-hmm. thing, in, uh, you know, um, yes, she's got that kind of ragged, ribbony, whatever we want to say about the skirt, but again, 
being an Argentine tango, it needs to be out of the way. It needs to be either a short skirt or a very fitted skirt so that she can do the the kicks and the flicks and the lifts and so on because you have yeah. to get your legs apart for the Argentine tango quite a lot. Oh, excuse me. Uh, but yes, you do. <laughs> What do you think of the colour palette of Carlos's shirt? Would you have gone for that sort of slaty blue colour, or would you have absolutely? Put... Yeah, I thought it. I thought it worked really well. I thought you've got that kind of petroly yeah. blue, and then with the with the the plummy and because it wasn't pink, it was plummy colours. Yeah, um, and you know he's got the fitted trousers on. Um, I don't know if they're plus fours or they're full trousers, but um, you know the fitted waist. I think it was the right the colour palette across there with him having a slightly more masculine petrol blue and her having the slightly more feminine um, pinky uh, plum colours. But the the similar sort of undertone as well. So you don't have like a cool one and a warm up, you know, there's similar undertones. It was the same base really, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, some of these come up in the Vicky Gill section. So uh, let's move on uh, to uh, what she talked about with some of the costumes. Every Thursday on It Takes Two, you have a 10-minute sort of uh, feature with Vicky Gill. Uh, and it's this idea that we talk about the, uh, from concept to creation. You see some of her sketches. So the first sketch that came up was that one. So this is Molly's Argentine Tango sketch, the concept sketch. Oh, so completely I think different. that's kind of <laughs> Well, oh. I can see the echoes of the extra fabric around the elbow there uh, to the left and to the right. But yes, the skirt is quite different with that triangular point in the middle. Yeah, I think I prefer the concept where it had that sort of shape because it might have added a wee bit more because it I, was just straight across, really. Yeah, yeah, I think so yeah. too. Um, she explained about it, saying that uh, it injected light um, with, she wanted to inject light into it with pinks and purples. And they knew that uh, red and black was going to be throughout. So they wanted to try and get that contrast there. And I think that kind of did. So when you see the concept and then you compare it with the creation there, maybe the top half reflected the concept and the bottom half was a bit more adapted. I mean, I don't know, looking at her sketch, maybe it was just the V that was taken out because you could argue that maybe those horizontal stripes on that skirt are the actual ribbon effects that she's got on there. And maybe it was always going to be kind of split in the way it was, but they took away the V and just cut it right across. Yeah, yeah, more than likely. But that's a shame because the V would have been lovely because that would have definitely leaned in more towards the tango sort of shape Mm. of the skirt as well, wouldn't it? Well, and also for the Argentine tango, yes, you need to be able to get, but normally you have that kind of tight fitted stretch. Yeah. So, so it's figure hugging. And then when you do those kicks and, and you know, you lift yourself up in the air and do those kicks, um, you know, the, the material gives. And, and when it's just cut like that, you, you lose a bit of that effect because she's not fighting against the fabric. Yeah. Yeah, very good point. Well, talking about fighting against the fabric, we have got... Hocus Pocus. <laughs> it's your favourite film, isn't it, Ting? <laughs> I wouldn't go that love far. It. Oh, you like it on you, do you? I yeah, do like do Hocus you not? Pocus. Yeah. I've never seen it. <laughs> How have you never seen it? No. <laughs> not my thing, so. But, but it's I, 1993. I, I hear there's it a. It's like time, time. Hocus Pocus 2 now, I hear. Yes. <laughs> I cannot believe you've not actually seen it. Sorry, I'm so, just going to have a moment. So no, that is, is absolutely. This is the concept. She said she started off with a very simple silhouette of that shape that she uh, of the hocus pocus vibe, um, and she knew there was going to be greens, purples, and blacks. Um, the skirt had two circles under it to give it a whole lot of volume. So that's the concept, and then suddenly the creation. We have a corset. Yeah, but yes. the course that is kind of there if you look in there, because because it was never a sack dress; it was always fitted in on Winifred in the film. So I would yeah. imagine the corset you just can't see it because of the bagged arms. Arms, yeah, story. yeah. It's beautiful. I have to say, I loved their dresses. They were they were just 
they looked they were it helped good, definitely they? get into character it worked so very well and it had so I, much I, I, I can I understand why they saved it for the end i don't know whether it was a copyright thing but i would have liked to have seen a little bit more green because her dress is is way greener in the film and yeah, they went yeah. with the hair and they went with the basic outline you know so I would have just liked it perhaps to have been a bit more distinct and, and not a blatant copy, but, you know, maybe a bit more green in it like it was originally. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Because Winifred's dress is absolutely epic. Like, it's beautiful when you see it. But um, I could, I might, I wonder as well, yeah, definitely a lot more green, but Winifred's dress to, to dance in, I'm sure that weighed a ton. Cool. Like, if, if it was anything like Winifred's dress, because it's almost, it's velvet, do you know what I mean? So you wouldn't dance in, but their dress also looked like it would be heavy because there's so much to it. But like yeah. that, that well, but there's a the trade, isn't there? You, you can layer it up with, it depends on the weight of the fabric. You're not actually going to use velvet and everything like that. You'll use things that are are, are lighter and, and there'll be all that layering and it'll be done with netting, which weighs nothing. Um, you know, so uh, yeah, it, it, it certainly they do a miraculous job of making it look like that. But I reckon there'll be a lot of tricks in there to keep mm. the weight off. Definitely. And, oh yeah. And how it's, much it's, fun was Johannes having in this dance? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he just seemed he to be beaming even more than usual. I mean, would you not if you got to go around swishing around in that I, kind of dress? I absolutely like, would. <laughs> Indeed. I was going to say he was in his element, wasn't he? It, yeah, yeah, it's like when we were talking a couple of weeks ago of having capes and we'd be squishing our capes. Yeah, to close the show with a with a dress outfit like that. Yeah, phenomenal. Um, and he had right. the headdress and everything. He had the yeah. hair and the headdress and everything. So uh, the other three that uh, we're going to talk about uh, for Vicky Gill section was Will's mummy, her, uh, his cha-cha. I thought very clever outfit for this. This is what it started like. She said so she wanted. To, she said she wanted to try and keep the Latin feel. Uh, the detail of the shirt will one will run through into the trousers. For the for this section, they only showed it with with uh, uh, white trousers. Uh, I think you can see on this one. But she said that's what they'll work on. Remember, this is Thursday. So they were going to work on the trousers. So they started with horizontal pieces and then crossed over panels with uh, mesh. So it wasn't toilet paper. <laughs> um, and she said it will get thicker as the day goes on. Uh, they will build it up more. And then the final version of it that we saw on Saturday night. Remember what we talked yeah. about with white? Obviously, they can't, only one person perhaps can use white. So they've obviously dipped this, and rightly so, because it's a mummy. It will be aged, won't it, from those yeah. from that time. Uh, but I thought that worked really well and quite creative. Well, he definitely looked like a mummy. Um, and he may have slightly moved too much like a mummy for my liking during the dance, but we're not going to dive too much into that, given we're talking about the outfit. But his outfit worked really well, like the makeup worked well with it and the raggedy bits that they did include. So they clearly s stitched on those um, drapey bits yeah. to have overall effect and to help with that. I can't see as much on his trousers, but we're not really getting to see much of his trousers anyway. But um, no, yeah, I can't see as much of that clever effect of the of the mesh going, you know, crisscrossing. Uh, I think that must have been harder to do. Um, mm. And what do you think about uh, her outfit? <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, I'm holding my breath here because I, I I didn't like the dance, and I think you know, you said it didn't look like toilet paper. Well, it does now. Well, whoever was in charge of dyeing it has gone absolutely <laughs> crazy. Um, and, you know, it was a valiant e effort, but I, uh, it did nothing for me. And I think they ruined the dance by trying to act like a mummy too much. Um, but we're not talking about the dance. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a valiant effort there, but I think they should have stuck with the white. They should have allowed this to be the white costume. And, you know, it probably would have come off a bit better instead of looking like um, Dinah Rod has been round. <laughs> <laughs> It, I don't understand perhaps where they were going with her costume. I say her, beg your pardon. Will and... Nancy. 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 Yeah, I'm still learning it all. Uh, is this... I don't think this is off a film or anything, is it? This is just basically going for 
Halloweeny, you know, mummies yeah. come yeah. to life. So uh, I'm guessing yeah. the two people that were doing the dying didn't hang out because she's dip dyed and he's just rolled around in the mud. <laughs> I wonder, is it because her sarcophagus was upright? So maybe that was like the whole thing. Like it's working its way up. So because she came out standing up, maybe that's what they were going yeah, for. Yeah, this is where I got a bit confused. <laughs> and I thought, well, is it from the film Mummy? Is she a character that he gets hold of? But she's real and he's the mummy. And I got a bit confused. Then I started thinking I'm reading too much into this. Well, that's no, because it's just... a theme. And they've gone crazy with it. They should have just stuck to dancing the cha-cha-cha and yeah. forget all of the theatrics around it because he he, he ruined it he, he ruined it okay yeah it was, it was too much acting not enough dancing <laughs> and let's go to the one that we talked about earlier uh one of my favorites which was uh kim's rumba there we are so that is what they showed us thursday so a very basic outfit there with the feathers on and it was interesting because uh she said um this is this is the start of it so implying that it's going to develop more um they will apply um with uh, with all black garments she was saying how they apply these crystals and I've, i i'm i'm fascinated with these crystals so i've just done a little bit of research because she said uh she called them a name uh, uh these um jet ab she said uh, jet ab crystals or jet jet hematite crystals well, that's this is what they are look how small they are sticking them on one mm. at a time can you imagine that for a job all Friday? Well, would rather not. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've got a kit that allows me to do that. It doesn't take long at all. They're are just you telling me, Ting, that these are the same crystals that you do for those nice art pictures? You know, no, 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 not at all, not at no. all. Um, these are hotfix crystals, and you have a special um, heated element on the end, and you literally dab down onto the crystal, pick them up, and then you hold it onto the fabric and the glue on the back of those crystals sets in the heat. And as soon as you take the, the little applicator off, it's it's fixed on. Um, and it, it goes really, really quickly. Wow. I used it to stud some advent calendars and things like that. So I'm wondering if they're the same though, because that says Jet AB non hotfix crystals. Are they different? Oh, it might be. I just did a Google search of Jet okay. AB crystals. Okay. So I expect okay. then there must be hot fix, as Ting was saying, and then these what are non hot fix. They have a flat coated back that can be fixed to any surface with glue. Um, yeah, so, mm -hmm. if, so that means you'll need to buy the glue separately, or you can get hot fix ones, which the glue is already on the back of the crystal, and you literally dab them on yeah. and hold them in place. That so it'll be, be one or the other. That would be a good job. To be fair, though, there. that's still a. That's still a job and a half. Like. Absolutely. So you get the impression from what she said there that that, that was going to be developed a lot more. And she yeah. said, she said, oh, because um, Kim was there in the studio and she said, oh, and you're on in the afternoon. So this will be embellished by this time. Thinking, I, I it seems like the concept there was it was going to be heavily, heavily gemmed. And then the end result was that sort of, I don't know whether it was more in the dress. I had to take another picture screenshot later on because the, the the dress had sparkles, but it was very hard to see. But not as perhaps as over crystal as I thought it was going to be from what they were first talking about. No, and it looks like they're black crystals as well. I mean, if they'd have used maybe a clear or a silver crystal, it would have stood out a bit more. Um, it, it does just kind of... It doesn't catch the light that well, does it, when they're black as well? And no. what was also interesting, if we go to this one here, she did say there's going to be lots of splits uh, in the dress. They may go a little higher. I think from when you look at her hand there and to what we had at the finished one, do you think they went higher? No. No. I think Not much. more I in. Did, but... Yeah, I think... I think possibly on the Thursday it was a more traditional rumba dress, just to split on one side. Yeah, and then they've turned her into the by leader mop um, <laughs> over those two days by putting more <laughs> in. But I don't think they went higher. Yeah. Well, there's one more to go that we got quite excited about as crocheters, all three of us. And that was Vito. <laughs> so we've got to have a look at this Vito's tank top. <gasps> Well, we're assuming 
it is. I think it's yeah, crochet. Yeah, we made massive assumptions here. Yeah, I I got a close up of this when uh, he went upstairs with Claudia. Take a look at that. I think that's double crochet. I don't think it's holy enough to be trebles. Do you? Well, it's it's treble to me, is it, or double to you? Because I use American. Terms. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for the Americans, it's treble. For the UK people, it's um, double. It does look like doubles. Um, I think well, they're I think short, the reason short stitch. I think if it was a treble like a granny I... square, it would be a lot holier. Yeah. Possibly, but then it depends how tight you are as a crochet. Indeed. But yes, the reason the reason I kind of went, oh my god, is that crochet? Is because uh, for the for those of you who perhaps aren't aware, there is no machine on earth that can crochet mm -hmm. for you. Crochet can only be done by hand. Knitting, you can buy a knitting machine and you can do knitting on a machine, but crochet can only be done by hand. So. Someone has either, maybe Betty was out, you know, doing a lunch run again. And she was sat in the car park. Somebody has either made that um, uh, to fit or they've bought it somewhere. But either way, it would have been handmade at some point. Mm. It, it's not yeah. a, a knitted jumper that can be run up on a machine. Um, and, you know, maybe that was Betty's one job this week to sit in the car park. And that maybe she was just using up her stash because clearly <laughs> she didn't have enough of each colour, did she? Why is Betty crocheting it's the car park? Like, she'd be she'd be in the office. She's not in a fag break now. She'll be in the office. No, well, if you remember, if you remember last week, she nipped out for a fag break and a Mackie D's, and, and maybe that's what she was doing. You know, while she was having her Mackie D's, is, is crocheting. But like, if you think about it, if it is crochet and it was done specifically for the show, there's no, you know, that's some speedy crochet if it's done up in a week. Yeah, absolutely. The craftsmanship in that is exquisite because the fit of it, let's go back to that one, the fit was brilliant. Yeah. Well, yeah. it was okay. <laughs> well, well, to be fair, if that's done it's not that baggy, much of a hurry, that, that's really where we're going. <laughs> you know what wool garments well, no, could got, often turn out? He's got a bit of a little muffin top there on top of his trousers, but um, <laughs> yeah, you know, it is it is fitted. Um, and it does make you wonder because, like you say, it's not a quick thing to do. Unless Betty's got no. fingers aflame. Um, you know, uh, it makes you wonder how long they were working on that costume. Yeah. And would somebody have worn it at some point? <laughs> As you say, what's yeah, the chances of finding has, that? The chances of finding that in a vintage shop, you know, in, in, in oh, Camden no, cool. or Portobello Road Market. You're not going to. That's got to be done for the show, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm guessing that was going to be, that's at least, we're talking two week lead time, at least I would reckon. Yeah, unless it's not crochet, unless it is just some weird knitted stitch, um, or maybe they did find it somewhere. But I, I think we were all, you know, having crocheted before, we were all kind of like, that does look like it's a crochet yeah. top. Um, yeah, I think that was crochet. I think yeah, uh, I th it's, it's cr crochet does stand out more. I I think compared to knitting, doesn't it? You could you can well for those people who crochet. They can spot crochet, I think. <laughs> well, and good old Becky for getting it done. Yeah, ab yes. Absolutely. So there we are. That's that, that's the end of Halloween special. Who do we think, just before we go, might be in the dance-off from your opinions of watching it? Oh, now I did... Oh, hang on, I'll have to refer back to my notes on my phone because Will, my mum Will might be. me. Yeah, Will. I was going to say Will might is because for me it what didn't feel like a good dance. No, what about the the weird B one with James, James and Amy, that Charleston? Yeah, so I'm just checking my messages on here. Um, so I said <laughs> I think it will be James, yeah. and then it will be Molly or Fleur um, that will Ooh. be with him. Fleur, surely not Fleur. That was an amazing dance with Fito, wasn't it? No, the music the music was bizarre, um, yeah. and it it. It was a I, I don't choice think curse again. Connect. Yeah, I don't think the audience will connect with it um, yeah. very well. Um, and then Molly's, yeah, I, yeah I, I didn't think it was clean enough. Um, but that, yeah. but again, that's because if you look at the leaderboard, that's where they are. James is at the bottom, um, and you've got Tony down there. But Tony's being saved every week by some mysterious voters. Um, so you know, Tony, and he made an improvement, which. Okay, I'll acknowledge he made yeah. an improvement, but he should have gone three weeks ago. Um, 
so he's 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 running these people off the bottom who were ma- you know James was making improvements although the dance this week was not very good um no. and i think that uh, molly and fleur they they're in that you know they're about three or four up from the bottom and they'll be the ones mm. that people forget to vote for while they're too busy voting for either their favorite at the top or trying to save tony at the bottom um <laughs> we can't go without talking about scooby doo quickly was it me or did it seem like we were watching it in slow motion? The music was really quick and their dancing was so it, slow in hold. Well, we, I thought we weren't talking about the dancing. I know, but, no, but it was Scooby-Doo just Scooby-Doo. Was I just, it, just thought we'd awful. just talk. <laughs> it just no, didn't work I, wasn't, cool I wasn't fun. That might be enough to, to put her in the bottom, possibly, with the audience. Oh. But it, technically, she did better than James, according to the judges. So when they come to do the saving... I'm afraid if James is in the bottom, they'll send James home because technically they put him last. Um, okay. But yeah. I, I think there was not enough dance content in that one for it to to warrant being there. Well, no, I agree. It was really weird. It did remind me of, I don't know if anybody's ever seen the instructional videos for, like you have people trying to do the groovy dances. <laughs> and it just kind of reminded me of that where they're in like suits and, oh, it was just, it yeah, it, just felt naff. Naff is the best word I can use to describe it. It was just a bit. Didn't quite get it. Didn't quite get it at all. Well, tune... I like the outfits, though. <laughs> tune in next week where we'll have our conversation on who went down. So we can come back to this and see. Uh, for week seven, we'll be on uh, and just back to good old normal. Not not a theme uh, for a couple of weeks. So when do we go to Blackpool? That must be soon. It's normally children in need week. <laughs> Oh, so yes, two weeks then. Two weeks, three weeks, oh, somewhere around there? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we'll see you next week then for a normal, strictly back to normal, no theme. Ah, take a brief, right? You can get rid of, wing your, wing your headset across the side of the room there. <laughs> um, and we'll see you next week, everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>